Hey guys, John here. Today we're in Diva and also the Mona skin, and let's do a nice little thing that I like to call the WoW leads from uh, ages ago. So let's go to a new preset here, and let's for most things, let's select the Jupiter stuff, which is kind of nice, and let's start making a patch here. So for this thing, let's go to the source mix, looking only at the first uh, oscillator here. <laughs> Maybe something like that we can start off with. And on our transpose, this negative 12, let's change this to positive 12. So we have something kind of like that. And for the second VCO, let's take it off the saw and go to a sine wave and kind of just sneak this in a little bit. And drop this also down one octave. And do some nice low cut here. Okay, so let's bring this frequency down quite substantially like that and then give the envelope amount quite a bit here. And let's give some release for both of these envelopes. Maybe turn this down just a little bit. And now let's bring up a lot of resonance. This is kind of the wow factor of this whole thing. And remember on the second envelope, we need a little bit of attack to really accentuate that. So it's almost saying like wow every single time we play it. And I do like going from rough to clean. And to make this really cool as well, let's give a nice little vibrato for this here. So here on our voice, let's increase this vibrato here. And then on the first LFO, let's change this from sync from one over 16 to one second. And maybe drag the rate a little bit to the right and bring down the depth mod. I kind of just dial that into taste. And that might work for now. And we always want a little bit of a delay for the LFO if we're doing any type of vibrato stuff. Because for the most part, vibrato is a little bit more towards the tail end of the note. So starting it off with vibrato is kind of weird. So let's bring up the delay a little bit. Okay, so from here, let's go to the effect here and let's turn on the chorus. And for this ensemble, it's kind of nice. Let's increase our depth a little bit and drop down our rate. Let's see if we have in a little bit more envelopes. Okay, so from here, let's go to the second effect and let's add some delay here. And I've always kind of liked the default timing for our delay, so we're going to keep that here, but just sneak in a little bit of our center. And we drop down the feedback a little bit and do some nice EQ on the top end and on the bottom. And depending on how bright or dark you want this, so this sound to be, that's kind of really where you want to dial in that envelope there. And if you're holding a note and you want it to say open, then the sustain should be at the top. But if you want something like this. Or anywhere in between. Totally up to you. So from here, like I was saying before in the last video, we really want to get the most out of D.Va by using external processing because we have two effect slots and five different effects to choose from. Neither one is a compressor or an EQ. So in that sense, we should do some external processing. So I have this pre-1973, which is nice from Arturia. And as soon as this decides to load up, we're going to do some nice uh, EQ here. So there's not too much on the low end, but let's just cut off some of it anyway. Now there's this kind of annoying mids here. So let's go ahead and crank this here and kind of find that. Something like that. And then we want to sh uh, soften up that sharpness here. So let's find that sharpness where it's at. Let's give it a little boost here. Maybe around here, let's bring this back. and then maybe increase a little bit of the top shelf here.
Okay, so let's do a little bit of compression and let's take a look at this here. Let's go to a new preset as always. And let's drag the threshold down to maybe four dB of gain reduction or something like that. And for this, maybe three to one might be appropriate. And for the attack time, let's go to 25 and release about 400. We get a little bit more than four, so let's kind of back off our uh, threshold just a bit. And then add some makeup gain to restore what we have lost. And for that higher kind of stuff that kind of pokes out, you can always reduce that a little bit more with the EQ. It's totally up to you. And now for the final icing on the cake, adding some nice plate reverb to uh, the sound here. Dirty plate specifically in Valhalla Vintage Verb. And from here, keep in mind, always to get a little bit different tonality or timbre in the sound. You can always change out the filters. The latter is just a classic sound with a lot of resonance here. And if you want it a little bit lower in octave or something like that, you can go back to zero or you can do negative 12 as by default. Totally depends on what you want to do. I'm going to kind of keep this up here and go back to 12 and save it like that. But yeah, that is the takeaway here for this video. If you'd like to get a copy of this patch here, there's a link in the video description below. And it kind of just gives you that wow kind of that wow thing. And if you want that wow to be a little bit quicker, you can always go to the envelope too and bring down the decay a little bit. Yeah, it's a nice cool little lead that you can kind of put over or behind an ARP or something like that. So yeah, if you'd like to get the patch, like I said before, there's a link in the video description below. Hopefully you learned something and we'll see you in the next video.